with bullet holes lodged in the windshield and evidence markers scattered across the parking lot. One thing comes to mind for DeSoto County Sheriff's Department. My message to any criminals out there would be don't come to DeSoto County trying to hurt our deputies or anybody else in our you know innocent civilian population. Leading up to this, deputies say they were pursuing 26-year-old Dariel Sparks after receiving credible information that he was engaging in sex trafficking. As deputies were closing in on him, he allegedly tried to hit one of them, resulting in him being shot by an officer. Investigators are describing this as a sting operation targeting those who engage in human trafficking. While the specifics of the operation are not being released, deputies do acknowledge the dangers that come with it. It's just where we live right now. It's a very uh, violent group of criminals that we're going after, and sometimes they're going to respond to us violently when we try to take them into custody. And this is the result of it. Data from the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation shows that last year, 275 cases were reported to them and other law enforcement agencies across the state involving 368 victims. Out of that number, 300 were minors. In that year, 20 people were arrested and 10 children were recovered. In an effort to reduce human trafficking and support victims in the Magnolia State, a website recently launched offering tips and allowing folks to report suspected cases of trafficking, along with the various initiatives underway by local law enforcement. Reporting in DeSoto County, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3. Now, Sparks is still in jail currently and charged with aggravated assault, but additional charges are expected in the coming days.